Hi, this is Dal Tufas here, and in today's video, I will be cleaning the AC condenser that's in my vehicle. Now, this is a 2004 vehicle, so I'm approaching almost 12 years. I've got about 123,000 miles on it. Now, this is the first time that I'm cleaning the AC condenser, so there may be a lot of bugs and grimes all stuck in there. And it really affects the efficiency of your air conditioning system. To do a very thorough cleaning, I will need to remove the front bumper. Otherwise, it's really hard to get to all the areas behind the grill. So that'll be the first step I'll do is to remove the bumper. Now every vehicle is going to be a little different, but on this one, you have to remove a couple of clips up top here. And there will be a bunch of screws underneath the bumper. There will be another screw back here by the fender. Underneath the front bumper, there are five plastic clips I'd remove. These are the clips. Now, if it's really old, it might break. So you can always go to the dealer or even go on eBay and find a replacement clips. On each corner of the bumper, there's going to be either a screw or a bolt. In this case, there's a bolt that's holding the bumper, the corner of the bumper in. So I've pulled back the splash guard here, and I'm going to get my wrench in there and remove that bolt. I just noticed there's another bolt right underneath here, so I've pulled back the splash guard completely, and I'll be able to access that bolt. Just when I thought it's about to come out, I found another clip underneath the grill. So on the front grill, if you pull this back a bit, you'll see there's another plastic clip. You need to remove that. There's another one over here, which I just removed. is get a shop vac with a very soft bristle brush and just remove some of the bigger debris. This is your AC condenser and you got to be very gentle because these fins on the condenser is very soft. to clean the condenser is this one right here. It's made by a company called Web. I got this from Home Depot. Uh, it retails for only about $4.60, very inexpensive. In fact, I picked up two of them just in case if I run out after using the first one. And there are many different brands of products out there that is uh, meant for cleaning the condenser. And you can use different brands. You don't have to use this one. Make sure you find one that is meant for cleaning AC condenser. You don't want to use just any type of cleaner or degreaser because some of the products might react with the aluminum on the condenser and actually it can corrode it, so be very careful. Some of the cleaners on the market uh, come in concentrated form, so you have to dilute it with uh, water. This one, you just use it as is and you spray it from this bottle. It foams up, removes grime and grease, and then you just have to rinse it off. Very easy to use. So let me show you how to use this. The first thing you want to do is shake this product very well. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide this in half. I want to clean half of it first and then follow by cleaning the other half. And you don't need to wet this surface. All you have to do is get the cleaner and spray it and it'll start foaming up once I start spraying it. So at this point, let it sit for about five minutes, no more than 10 minutes. 
and then we'll rinse it off with water. So right now it's been about five minutes and I have my hose here and we'll rinse this off. Now you don't want to use any high pressure uh, water like a pressure washer. Something like this is perfectly fine. And you can see the detergent is being rinsed out. One thing I should mention is that you don't want to do this when the engine is hot. So keep rinsing until all the detergent is cleaned off. Now I'm going to go ahead and clean the other side. It's been a couple of minutes and now I'm going to rinse it off. After cleaning both sides, I still have about a third of the cleaner left in this bottle. And since I have everything off already, I might as well just go ahead and do a second application and finish this can. While I'm waiting for a couple minutes, I thought I'd show you on most vehicles, if you want to take out the headlight, you'll have to remove the bumper. And then on this one, there are three bolts, one over here, one on top, right here, and then one on the side, right over here. You remove those three bolts, and then the headlight assembly can come out. I'll do a final rinse. have a compressor you can use a blow gun like this and just blow some of the water out okay it's time to put the bumper back on if you have fog lights go ahead and reconnect the fog light Now, I'm sure some of you watching this video might be asking, why do I need to clean the AC condenser? You can do this as a preventative maintenance to keep your AC condenser operating optimally. This service could help you if you find that your air conditioning is not performing very well. Now, I want to say that the air conditioning in a vehicle is very complex. There are a lot of components involved, and you need special equipment to fix air conditioning problems. Well, I hope you enjoy watching this video. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And don't forget to click on the like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Nice and cold.